I am a rock star. I don't really care what anybody says. But would this actually be the case for Rock or Voss? Did he in fact find stardom in a matter of weeks through social media? We caught up with him in an interview to find out. I'm not doing the interview. I'm an hour late. It's been three hours. It's an hour. Local. It's okay. It's not a self-proclaimed rock star. That's that's really the word that everybody likes to use on it. It's actually an uprising rock star, and people don't. They just really like to think bad things and from a negative perspective on what you're doing every day of your life, and that's part of that's part of being in the industry. You gotta, you gotta just take those lumps on the chin and put out the best songs you could possibly ever put out in your life. I hate your fucking guts. Just kidding, I love you. The whole concept of that album was to get it done in one night, and we had one night to do it, and we pulled it off. We had a, a lot of people in the background doing. It. Zero copies. We've sold zero copies. People talk to me and they say things like, do album sales really make you an artist? Well, hopefully, in my case, that's a no. Unfortunately, Rocco, that is the case. And without selling any records, you are a self-proclaimed rock star. We tried to get him to stick around for further interview, but unfortunately, time was enough. I'm starting to think that this interview is just to make me look like an idiot. Yeah, not doing it. Well, that's that for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in to Behind the Curtains. We tried to talk to Rocco later in the year. It turns out that he got his house repossessed for not paying his taxes.